I'm just gonna come out and say it. Online conferences are bullshit, they suck. Nobody wants them. I'd argue there's no such thing as an online conference. I don't like them. I think there's a better way. Welcome back to another T-Log. You can see I'm out here on the walk. Got some sun. And today's talk is uh, one that was brought to you, brought to me via you, which is what are my thoughts on an online conference? Well, they suck. I'd care to argue that there's no such thing as an online conference. I know that sounds controversial, but, or maybe it doesn't. I know everybody's tired of it. And I think people are tired of it because it's not a thing. It's not natural. Well, let's just take a traditional conference. That is bound by a set of physical limitations. Halls, walls, cost, food, people. You can only, you can only do so much. It lends itself to something that is this very high velocity, very jam packed, a very high fidelity, you know, set of activities. And I think those, those activities, that time together are, is very important and cannot be replaced. It's something that you can't replicate online. You can't replicate acoustic space. And I know that there's the metaverse and all this shit with avatars and whatnot, but if you just think of some acoustic space and how we naturally talk to one another, you, know, you pick up on cues, you pick up on hand signals, you pause, you're essentially inviting people in to certain spots of the conversation. It's just different. And when you're online, I think trying to replicate that experience is, is unfortunate because you don't have the same limitations. You're not bound to halls and walls. It doesn't matter if a session is five minutes or five hours. It just doesn't need to be the same. And so in the beginning of the pandemic, what we saw was nothing but trying to completely replicate the thing that was done in person. Booths for sponsors, fake people in chairs, you know, sessions at certain times. I just think there's a better way. So when I think of online, I think we need to respect that medium, just like we would respect the median medium that is in person. I think there's two formats when you think about online. You're either deeply engaged in a small group of something, or you're pushing information out. So if you think of a webinar or a YouTube video, that's a very one directional with a bolt-on asynchronous model being comments or chat. I'm not saying that anything's wrong with a push of information, but limiting that push to an arbitrary number of folks seems silly. And then you have to ask, what value does the channel or, I don't wanna say channel because of YouTube, but the, the curator provide, right? If you're going to push your message or your video, I mean, you could just pre-record it, put it all up and put it on YouTube. I mean, I'm doing that now. And then you get the longevity of it, one, being on that platform, two, their search algorithms and the things that happen there. They already have a commenting system and analytics and everything that goes along with it. So then you have to ask like, I mean, for me, I'd say, well, that conference, that doesn't really provide any value. Like I, I sure, we have people in an audience, but my audience is smaller than YouTube. You now, what value add do I add on top of that? And since there are tons of them, you putting your video on 
that conference, you're putting your video on YouTube, you're putting your video on X, Y, and Z, just what, is, what does it matter? Now it's almost uh, fragmented across all those things. But having said that, I still think that it's important, the mass push of information and how you know users kind of see that is important. Videos are important. Um, it's, a, it's certainly a, um, a great way to learn, uh, one that, that I learn a lot in, and, and I think it's to be respected. All right, now on the flip side, I think on the opposite end of the spectrum is small groups of people who are highly engaged with one another. And this is really what we set out to do. If you think of being in person and those conversations that one has, um, the hallway conversations, the unconference, if you will. I think there's some secret sauce in that. And that dialogue, that experience is one that I feel like we're not doing well and we're not respecting. This is the, you know, the point why we built that thought us. Could we build a platform to where you could have those conversations at scale, meaning anywhere in the globe, with anybody, at any time, at any length, and really respect the, the median, me, medium that's there online, right? Not try to enforce what we do in person versus what we can do online. Brings me back to online conferences. I don't think conference is the right word. It's, it's at least not in the semantics that we know or have come to know what a conference means. I also think we're doing it a misjustice. Nope. I think we're doing an injustice by trying to replicate what we've done in person or what we've done in person online. So I'd challenge folks like, you know, what's your value add in that situation? Why would you do that? I think the reason we see a lot of fatigue is that everybody thought, oh, this is gonna be the best thing ever. And then they realized they were trying to work. They were trying to watch, you know, basically TV all day long. Then they were feeling guilty for maybe not consuming it all or not being engaged correctly with it. And now everybody's flipped a bit and it's kind of switched off. Again, back to Small people, highly engaged with one another, highly interactive. Everybody is bringing a little bit of value to one another. That's, that's what I think online should be. That's what I'm striving for with that online. Respect the median. Well, I keep saying median. Respect that medium in the best way that you can and offer the highest amount of value that you can while being a value add in the system and not compete with things that are of higher value. You wanna make a video on whatever, I don't know, React. I would tell you to put it on YouTube. Biggest reach, easiest experience, publishing, the whole nine. Does that mean that you build an in-depth community with your audience? Mm. I don't know. I don't think so. I think you build a type of community. Do you have the ability to maybe call somebody up and get some help? I'd say probably not. Online conferences, I think they're shit. I think there's a better way. We're striving to make a better way. We're gonna continue to refine over time. I think online and in-person are essential components. I think you have to have both. They are some glue between what we do on a daily basis, and they provide a bit of scale at a cost that lets us connect with one another um, where it's not really feasible. I can't go to Switzerland to talk to folks, or they're both essential. We have to do it differently. We have to think differently, and we have to uh, respect the median. God, we have to respect the medium that we're trying to participate in. So that's my thoughts. 
Maybe there's a better word. Maybe it's a gathering. We've tried to use some different words. Things like activities versus sessions hasn't been necessarily well received. Um, doesn't mean that it's necessarily wrong either. Online conferences suck. There's a better way. It's my opinion. Curious what you think. Curious what you think about our strategy. Leave a comment below. Certainly something that we're very passionate about. We've invested a lot of time and money over the past two years to build a new platform, ecosystem, if you will, to be at the place we are now to try to change our interaction model. So that's that. That's my that. I'll follow up with another video on what is that online, how I feel, how I think about it, because I think that's important to understand when we say we're doing something online, you know, what are the actions and uh, behaviors that we look for? Um, what have we seen that's really worked over the past, I think we're pretty close to 600 hours of things. So what things have worked for folks, um, what hasn't, um, where we still have a lot of work to do. So maybe that'll be tomorrow's video. With that being said, love the fact that that comment was dropped. I'm super passionate about, about that whole thing. Let me know what you want to hear. Hopefully I'm not breathing too hard while walking. And uh, with that, I'm out. Thanks for watching.